Good and Strange, an amazing artist on Instagram, has shared a project for a pocket buddy. I was immediately smitten, and using her instructions as inspiration, I've made some super cute bookworms. The world absolutely needs more bookworms, so why not make one too? I'm starting off by twisting two pipe cleaners, or chenille sticks, together. I'm bending the ends over so that the pokey ends are blunted, and to make my worm a little shorter than the full length of the pipe cleaners. Wrap some batting around the twisted pipe cleaners. You could also use foam, fabric, anything at all that will act as stuffing and give bulk to your buddy. Wind some thread around the stuffing to hold everything in place. Cut fabric for the outside of your worm. I'm using a knit scarf that I picked up at a thrift shop. You'll want to cut a piece big enough to wrap around your fuzzy stick, adding to the width and length to allow for a seam allowance. Fold your fabric in half lengthwise and sew down one side to make a sort of fabric tube. Trim off any excess fabric. You can sew one end if you like, but I'm just going to tie it off. Turn your tube inside out and then push your fuzzy stick in there. I have lots of extra length, but that's totally fine. It just makes my worm a little more wrinkly. Pinch the other end closed and stitch it up. I've used beads for eyes, but I bet that googly eyes glued into place would be super duper cute. A stitch or two and my buddy has a cheeky grin. You could totally paint or draw or use little snips of felt to add features instead of sewing them into place. Make changes to your buddy or bookworm to suit you. To make the little eyeglasses, I'm taking some florist wire. That's just what I had on hand and I'm coloring it with a black permanent marker. Using a small paintbrush, I'm winding the wire to create a sort of figure eight. Bend the sides and snip the excess. I'm freeform crocheting a hat for my dude. Now, let me say I am not very good at sewing or knitting or crocheting, but for this project you don't have to be. Wobbly, wonky, and weird is absolutely encouraged. You can totally omit the hat if you want, or make one from paper or fabric or make a tiny crown. It's totally up to you. 
I found the tiniest wee pom-pom and added that as a bobble to his little hat. A snip of thread for a bow tie around his neck and your bookworm is complete. He's ready to take care of your house plants, organize your books, keep an eye on you while you pretend to work, or cuddle you for a nap. I hope you like this silly project and remember to check out Good and Strange on Instagram to see her magnificent and inspiring creations.